Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss some important points regarding this question. Is it uh, worth doing MTech without GATE score? Most of the candidates, they are asking us very often nowadays this particular question. So through this video, I want to address those points. As you all know, GATE examination is one of the tough examination. So many candidates contest in this examination, but you know, not all are going to get qualified. You may be having some idea, the percentage of qualifying students in the GATE examination. Generally, the qualifying percentage of students varies from, varies from 15 to 20 percent only. Got the point? 15 to 20 percent of the candidates are only going to get qualified in the GATE examination. The exact value varies from branch to branch and every year also this will be changing. But on an average, this is the range qualifying candidates. It means more than 80 percent of the candidates are going to be disqualified. When you have so much a percentage of disqualifying students in the GATE examination, they come to us and they ask us one question. That question is this one. Not qualified in the GATE exam, what to do next? So most of students will be willing to know something more about this particular question. In case you are not qualified in the GATE exam, if you are unable to decide what to do next, you are left with uh, three options. One is repeat, other one is join MTech without GATE exam, otherwise prepare for other competitive examinations. Let me elaborate. Before I elaborate, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. A.K. I am alumnus of IIT Madras, I have put up more than 27 years of experience in coaching for GATE, ESC and other competitive examinations in engineering. So with my vast experience and counseling so many students over these years, I will be sharing some of the points how to take decision with regard to this particular question there. Look at, in case you are not qualified in the GATE exam, one of the option is repeat. In a sense, Repeat the preparation once again, take gate exam second time, otherwise or third time. But generally, who should follow this particular first plan means, suppose you are a fresher, in a sense, a recently passed out student, only after one attempt you are disqualified. In such case, my strong advice to you is better prepare second time, third time also if required, try seriously the GATE examination once again. Because if you get a good GATE score in the examination, you get abundant opportunities with respect to your career. That is why having a good GATE score is always advisable to you. That is why if you are a fresher, only one attempt you have given so far, better to prepare once again take second time, third time till you get a what you call a good otherwise a decent score. What about the second option? Suppose already you have given the gate exam two times or three times. You are fed up with number of attempts. So many times you have tried this one, but unfortunately because of so many reasons, you are not qualified there. And moreover, you do not want to continue further the preparation also. In such case, in such case, one of the best option for you is join MTech without GATE score also. I tell you, there are some very good colleges where you can join MTech directly without GATE score also. It has got its own merits, that point I want to elaborate later. And one more option available for us is the third one. Prepare, if not this one, if not this one, the third option is prepare for other comp examinations like 
ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಜೆ ಇ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಇ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಕ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಯು ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಡು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಅಲಾಬ್ರೋಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಡೆಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ತ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಐ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ಈಸಿ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಫ್ಯೂ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಮ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟಾರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟಾರ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ದ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ರಿಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೈಯರ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವೇಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಎ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವೇಲ್ ಬೈ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗೇಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಗೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಗೇಟ್ ಸಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಲೋ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ವೇಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಂಟ್ರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಯಾ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾ
such in-depth knowledge you can develop by joining MTech, right? That is what another opportunity you are going to get. And the next one is possible high salary package. Of course, this may not be always true. If you see, for example, the software industry. In software industry, the B-Tech guys will be drawing more salary than the M-Tech guys. This is possible. Vice versa also possible. Anything is possible in the software industry. Just because you have M-Tech, you do not think that you are going to get good salary. Not like that. But this point may become true sometimes, particularly in the what you call the core engineering branches. For example, you may be civil engineering branch, you may belong to civil engineering branch or electrical or mechanical. In this type of core branches, in some companies, in some companies when you join at the entry level, if you have some MTech, MTech in some good specialization, you may be given relatively a little bit higher salary package, sometimes in some companies, please understand, not always. So, advantage of what you call doing having MTech. And next one is uh, better designations. In case you have MTech, you may be given a higher designation, something like what you call engineer, senior engineer like that. And then, yeah, you can take up career in research field, otherwise you can do PhD. You can join some R&D organizations or you can join some what you call good universities as a what you call a faculty member there. There is another advantage you can get there. And then career in teaching sector, yes, you may be knowing in India there are so many private universities, private engineering colleges. All these institutions are visiting some premier colleges, maybe NITs, IITs, some premier colleges to recruit the candidates for what you call the teaching positions, maybe for the post of what you call assistant professor, etc. So, if at all you have any interest in teaching, is one of the opportunities for you after doing MTech from the campus space, you can join what you call those colleges in the what you call teaching sector. And then you can have your own design consultancy, design consultancy. Suppose you happen to be, let us say, mechanical engineer or electrical or civil engineer. You can start your own company offering what you call consultancy work. So, nothing but self-employment. If you have higher qualification, higher degree, some in-depth knowledge of certain what you call software, etc. So, definitely you can excel if you start your own design consultancy works also yourself. And then the tag of IIT or NIT. See, suppose you happen to be a student of what you call a remote uh, private engineering college. Nobody knows about the name of such a private engineering college. In such case, if you join MTech in a premier college like a IIT, otherwise NIT or some triple IT, that a tag of the IIT or NIT definitely will give you an edge over the others when you attend some interviews, etc. Another advantage you can have. And then a few more let me highlight here. You can enjoy a high profile a campus life. You can have proper interaction, good interaction with the world and about professors in the premier institutions who are having very good exposure to the research field. You can publish some journal papers also. It's another opportunity you can avail when you are doing MTech in some premier colleges. And then going abroad for further studies also easy. Suppose if you do MTech or even MS also some premier college like IIT or NIT or some premier university also, recognized university also. If you apply for PhD in foreign universities, it is very easy to get the admission for PhD in the foreign university in good college, that too with a financial aid also. So, that is another advantage going abroad becomes easy if you have done MTech from some premier college, please understand from premier colleges. And then you can have overall a personality development because while doing the MTech, you will be having opportunity to interact with the world and world professors, the peer students what you are going to have with you, the colleagues, right, the students of different uh, states, see, the interaction with them all will help you in molding your personality, personality and you have what you call, what you call a good uh, overall personal development also. And lastly, but not the least point. So by doing MTech, you are going to have what you call an additional uh, qualification. 
value addition, right? So you have so many opportunities that you are going to have if you do MTech, if you do MTech. But one thing, mind you, my dear students, if you do MTech from a premier college like IITs, NITs, otherwise triple IITs, otherwise some top notch, top notch university, definitely you are going to have all these opportunities available for you. Suppose you could not get those colleges the admission. If you do MTech in ordinary college, ordinary college, certainly you may not get all these opportunities for you. You may not get all these opportunities, but something is better, right? So that is how uh, by looking at all these points, you can take what you call a appropriate decision. But certainly, certainly one can say that it is definitely it is worth doing MTech without gate score also, provided you get a MTech admission some premier colleges. The question is, how to get MTech admission premier college when you have no gate score, otherwise when you have low gate score? Yes, there are certain ways. Let me discuss that aspect also, how you can get into some premier colleges to pursue your MTech or MS even though you do not have gate score or you have very low gate score. Look at this. So all the points which I am going to share with you, this information I have gathered based on the previous history, particularly you can see based on the previous MTech admis admin, uh, admission information brochures of different institutions. So you can pursue MTech without gate, with low gate score also in IITs, in NITs, in triple ITs also, but not all, only in few, few IITs, few NITs. Let me list out what are the different uh, colleges where you can do this. First point is, look at this. This one program called MTech in IITs through self-sponsored, otherwise self-financed category. What is meant by self-sponsored, otherwise self-financed category? As the name implies, it's nothing but bearing every expenditure from your side. In the sense, every rupee for your education, you have to pay from your pocket only. You don't get that MHRD scholarship. If you have a GATE score, if you have joined the program through GATE score, you become eligible for the MTech scholarship of 12,400 rupees. But this is self-sponsored, otherwise self-financed. Without GATE score, you are joining the program. That's why here, you don't get the MTech scholarship. Every rupee you have to pay from your pocket. But this is somewhat uh, costly, somewhat costly. For your entire MTech program to complete the two years, it may cost you, it may cost you uh, 10 to 12 lakhs, depending upon the college, depending upon the college. But definitely, if you can get MTech in such a premier article IITs, Definitely, it is a very good decision to take up that. But thing is, what are those IITs where you have this type of facility, this type of program, what you call MTech through self-financed category? Yes, only very few, very few. What are those? First is the IIT Hyderabad. Here, most of the seats are reserved for the gate qualified students only. But there are certain vacancies, they are meant for what you call self-financed category also. You please see that website of the IIT Hyderabad, you can apply, right, for those programs, self-financed MTech program. It is there in the IIT Hyderabad, one of the good IIT. Next, you can see IIT Gandhinagar. In this IIT Gandhinagar, the program is called something uh, somewhat by similar name only, MTech through self-finance uh, category. But in the case of IIT Gandhinagar, it's not for all, it's not for all. If you happen to be from a premier college, maybe IIT or maybe NIT also, maybe some premier university also, if you have good academic record, even though you do not have GATE score, you can apply IIT Gandhinagar. Some seats are there for without GATE category. Next is IIT Goa. This is based on the previous year's information, please mind it. What about this year? This year, the notification for MTech programs from the IITs 
not yet released, only one or two only released. So many IITs are going to release that notification in the coming days. That's why you please be in touch with the notifications. You can visit the IIT websites. I think uh, if a few more IITs will join this type of list there. Next is how to do the MTech without gate or with low gate score in the case of what you call NITs. In NIT song, there is a program called MTech, MTech through self finance acceptance sponsored category. MTech in so and so category. Not all NITs. You may be knowing in India there are around. Uh, I think uh, 31 NITs are there, 31. But not all NITs are having this type of program, self financed MTech program, only in few NITs. What are those? We have NIT Warangal, we have NIT Durgapur, then we have NIT Delhi, and we have NIT Silchar, and we have NIT Jalandhar. Mind it, friends. It is not industry sponsored, it is a self sponsored means you have to pay every fee, every rupee from your pocket. This is what the scheme, right? So you can see the notifications of this NITs after some days, after get result, after some days this notifications are going to list, right? You have to check the each notification of this NIT and accordingly how to respond. Next is some triple IT's. In some of the triple IT's also you have this MTech through self finance category. But not more, only two I think. One is the triple IT Hyderabad. Triple IT Hyderabad is one of the best triple uh, uh, IT. But in this triple IT, we have got very good campus placements, very good campus placement, but the seats are there on the computer science and then civil engineering. There is one program called uh, computer aided structural design. Triple IT Hyderabad. And then we have one more Triple IT Bhuvaneshwar, we only computer science is there in that. These two Triple ITs you can try without gate, without gate. And then uh, some top uh, private universities, private university, but very good universities, where you have excellent uh, campus placements. Here also you have some seats reserved for the gate qualified students, and some seats are filled based on the without gate category all. without gate category also there are certain fees reserved for them. But they charge relatively more amount, but you should be ready to pay that one. Let us see what are the best private universities where you can pursue your MTEC without gate score also. One of the best one is the BITS. So the Bill Institute of Technology and Science is we have campuses in Pilani, Hyderabad and then Goa, one of the best, one of the best private university where you have excellent uh, campus placements for almost for all specializations. You know BITS has specialty, half of the seats are filled for the gate qualified, uh, with, the, with the gate qualified students. The remaining half of the seats are filled through non-gate. The BITS will conduct its own return test for the PG programs. If you get some rank in that uh, return test of the BITS, you can claim the admission in this what you call MTech program. Excellent placements are there, little bit costly program, it may cost you around 12 to 14 lakhs, but worth doing if you really get MTech uh, in such a what you call BITS campus, right. Other one is Manipal University. It is also having good placements, campus placement for some of these specializations, not for all, not for all. So admissions are given based on written test also here. Even though you do not have get score, you can try that written test. If you get good rank, you can try Manipal University also. So similarly, we have VIT Vellur and we have Amruta Vijayapitam right, three campuses are there. And also we have SRM University in Andhra Pradesh as well as Chennai. But among all these private universities, I rate the best one, what you call the BITS, Birla Institute of Technology and Science. So some of them, they can their own separate written test also for the MTech admission. You can try it. And then some top government universities. Here you can get some admissions through what you call without gate, and some are with the gate also. What are, see in India there are so many universities. What are those best top, what you call government universities? One is ISI Kolkata, Indian Statistical Institute, where you have a program called Computer Science MTech. The interesting point here is, it is going to conduct a written test for the non-gate candidates. 
what will be the branch of earning civil mechanical electrical all are eligible to apply for the written test if you get marks in the good marks in the written test you can join what you call mtech computer science in that is it also got good campus placements isi kolkata next is jn new delhi only computer science is there and there delhi university csc you have vlsi and then manufacturing science mtech specializations and also you have pondicherry university computer science is there and electronics is there environmental also is there and then coip college of engineering pune some seats some seats are filled with what you call non gate category and then the aligarh muslim university aligarh right there are some of the good universities there you can get some mtech admissions without gate score also without gate score also you can try those and then uh, this one nikmar it is there in hyderabad and then pune basically it offers uh, what you call uh, a pg program in the construction management and then project management quantity survey we have a two years program one year pg program it's not mtech it is called it's not mtech it is called pg program pg program of two years pg program of one year all branches are eligible here but mainly civil engineers will be choosing this one it is best for civil engineers though all branches are eligible it is best for civil engineers where you have very good uh, campus placements very good uh, campus placements so civil engineers if you do not have a gate score if you don't want to continue what is the preparation of the competitive examination you can try what you call the nikmar little bit costly but worth joining this one right good placements also there and then you can see almost all the state government universities in india there are so many states in every state let us say telangana andhra pradesh tamil nadu in all the states in all the state there are so many government universities are there and the private colleges also there in all the state universities in all these states the state government is going to conduct in each, in each state one more test for that that is called post graduation uh, test for this mtech admissions the name varies from state to state in every state this pg entrance is there for the mtech admissions but in this state universities first priority is given for the gate qualified students only if there are leftover seats those leftover seats are going to be filled by the students who do not have gate score but they got some rank in that what you call pg entrance of the particular state but many seats are left over in this state government uh, universities in the mtech admissions government universities as well as the private universities private universities also there so all those uh, what you call left over seats you can try if you have taken the written test of the state government pg entrance for the mtech admissions so very easy to join in this uh, state government colleges private colleges mtech without gate score so friends we have seen so many uh, career opportunities and then the colleges where you can do the mtech without gate score with low gate score also so depending upon your interest you can try one of them right so friends i hope this information will be very useful for you very useful for you to take a proper decision at your end so i wish you a good luck